Just imagine you will be giving all these six previous year paper in the computer interface. Every day at 9 a.m. you sit and 12.30 you finish your previous year paper. Take 30 minutes of break. At 1 p.m. you come back and start analyzing your previous year paper. So either aptitude test is over and whether you got very good marks or you got really bad marks, now you cannot do anything about it. And fortunately, if you are a research aspirant, if you want to get into research basic sciences like Iser, Nizer, then you have one more ultimate chance, which is NEST examination to get into Nizer or CBS, where you even get scholarship. In whole year, you get 80,000 rupees and you pay fees less than 20,000 rupees, which is not even there in Iser's. So in Iser's now, you don't get scholarship until you are a KVPY scholar or you have any other scholarship scheme. But at Nizer and CBS, all the students get scholarship after qualifying the NEST examination. Yes, and now since IET is over, all of you can focus on NEST examination properly. In this video, I'm going to tell you how you have to prepare for NEST 2023 examination in coming six days or one week. Now, you might have seen so many of the reaction videos of our students from IET 2023 examination. The live session which we did, many of the students are getting very good marks and we are getting so many heart messages, right? So this is something that really motivates us to give our best for all of your future. So please like this video right now and subscribe to this channel. In coming one week, what you have to do is, first one is focus on previous year papers. That's it. There are so many previous year papers starting from 2007, 2009, but you have to start, you don't have much time, right? So you have to start from 2020 to 2022. So every year there are two sessions in the next examination, right? I hope you have downloaded the admit card, by the way. I have already made a detailed video how you have to download the admit card. If you're facing any problems, just contact the help desk or write in the comments below. I'll try to answer them now. So I hope you have downloaded the admit card in coming six days. You have to solve minimum six previous year papers. That is at least one previous year paper every day. If you can solve more than one previous year paper, I would recommend maximum two PYQ every day, not more than that. Okay. Because you also need time to analyze those previous year paper. It should not happen that you have solved all the previous year paper, but you have not learned anything from them. Then there's no point in solving them, right? So. You have to solve those six previous year paper in coming four days. Monday, you can solve two previous year paper. Tuesday, you can solve two previous year paper. And Wednesday and Thursday, you can solve one one. So target that in next four days, you will be solving six previous year paper. Exactly sit at the session that you have got. So once you download your admit card, you would have got, right? You have session one, uh, 9 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Or session two, which is 2.30 to 6 p.m. Then accordingly, every day sit from there. So every day at 9 a.m. you sit and 12.30 you finish your previous year paper. Take 30 minutes of break. At 1 p.m. you come back and start analyzing your Previous year paper, have you made silly mistakes? Have you forgot the concepts? What are the problems that you're uh, facing in the solving previous year paper? And you are going to face the same problems in the actual examination. Now, one very important point, make sure you're giving all this previous year paper in exactly CBT mode, computer interface. Why? Because if you're solving on pen and paper in the printed, you know, PDF, then you will not have that habit of looking in the computer screen, you know, clicking the options properly. A lot of students click wrong option and you will forget to save the option. As a result, you might have attempted, you know, all the good options and correct options, but you will get zero marks if you don't save the option properly. If you do not you know how to use the computer. So don't make that mistake. Okay. Now, where will you get the CBT mode? Where will you get, you know, exactly computer interface? Where will you get the piece of paper solutions? Next examination is actually, you know, harder than either aptitude test, much harder than IIT examination. It is J advanced level or above that. Many of the questions which seem very, very lengthy have very good tricks involved in them. You just have to think properly and you can do in minutes but if you are not able to understand the question it will take you you know five ten minutes and you will just waste your time so you need solutions of previous year paper and all of them you can get in our course in just four double nine rupees that is nest mock test series in that not only you will get all the solutions you can do all of this previous year paper in exactly computer interface just imagine you will be giving all these six previous year paper in the computer interface not only that there are discussions of all of these previous year paper from the mentors of each of the subject physics chemistry maths and bio so you can see all the discussion of the mentors on these previous year papers what were the tricks involved how you have to approach the question do you need to leave that question or you know you need to attempt the question all of these strategies are shared by mentors so you can get access to all of them now along with this for totally free we are going to provide you one short lectures for physics chemistry maths by all four subjects those will be available on our you know Syastra app those will be happening live uh, for four of the days and then after one day after editing them then we will be also posting on youtube now i hope all of these things will be very much useful to you uh, we have been trying to give you so much more value than we have promised in any of the courses and we genuinely want all of you to you know get your dream institute this is your literally the last chance because iit is already over so please take this seriously do not waste any time now coming to third thing a lot of students are confused about revision how should i revise so see i have told you so many times question to theory approach right so the revision is already included in the question to theory approach after you analyze the mock test you see that how many questions you are not able to get what is the concept you go and read the theory of that concept only come back and start solving again and analyzing again that means your revision is already happening but for the chapters which have already come in the previous papers you're not wasting your time revising whole of the ncrt whole of the theory of two years you cannot revise in six days right so revise the important topics and chapters which have come in the pyqs that you will understand when you solve them and analyze them 
So revision is already included in question to theory approach. You practice the question, analyze them, go read the concept or theory of the chapter you have. So that was it. So link to the NEST 2023 mock test series is given in the description. If you have any other question, doubts, let me know in the comments below. You can message me personally in the Sayastra app. Please do not message me on Instagram, WhatsApp, Telegram. Please message me only at one place, which is Sayastra app. All the best. See you at Nizero CPS. Ciao.